electric car is an automobile that is propelled by one or more electric motors using energy stored in rechargeable batteries. Now, two factors are really important for electric propulsion to work. First is the motor and second is the rechargeable batteries. So, we are going to discuss about the timeline of the progression and the development of the electric car right from the electric motor, the batteries and the modern day electric car. In short, this will be a video which will look at the history of electric cars evolution. So, in the year 1934, the first electric motor was developed. It was developed by Thomas Davenport of Vermont. He builds the first electric motor and his other inventions include small devices that can move using electricity. So, Davenport was the first person with the actual power. His motor was the first one to do the actual work. So, what did he do? He used his motors to power small carriages. Next, coming to the year 1959, the first batteries were evolved. French physicist Gaston Planté invents the lead acid battery and now we can see this is where the first viable electric car can be launched. So after 1859, in the year 1884, the first viable electric car was launched by the famed English inventor Thomas Parker. He is called as the Edison of Europe. He creates the first commercially viable electric car unlike many other of his inventions which include electric trams, underground lighting and smokeless fuel. But this car attracts very less interest. Next 1886 the first gasoline car is produced by Carl's Benz. This was the car which was first internal combustion powered car and even before the first gasoline car was created we can see that for around 50 years, the electric cars existed. So, in the year 1897, the first practical electric taxi fleets were introduced in both Paris and New York. Next, in the year 1898, Porsche builds the first electric car. That would be Porsche's first electric car, the Jaeger Loner Model C Phaeton, which is powered by electricity. You can see clearly in the picture, the motor is still visible. Now, coming to 1899, you can see the first speeding ticket in America is given to an electric cab driver. How much fast he was riding? Well, he was driving for about 12 miles an hour in an 8 mile per zone. <laughs> so the limit was 8 miles and he drove 12 miles per hour and he got a speeding ticket in America. That was in the year 1899. In the same year, a Belgian race driver Camille Gentesti became the first person to drive over 100 kilometers an hour or 62 miles per hour in an electric car built for himself called La Gemes Contente. Nice name for a car. Now coming to the 19th century and the rise of electric cars. There was this company in Cleveland, Ohio called as Baker Electric Vehicles. They built numerous vehicles. So the electric cars were more viable alternative to steam cars which would take about 45 minutes to start in the morning and the gasoline cars had to be cranked. So that was a really big hustle and especially for ladies, driving an electric car was very much easy. Now in the year 1908, Ford brings the famous Model T. It is the car based on the newer model of production lines, rolls out the car pretty fast. But Ford's wife, Clara, still drives an electric car. Going on to 1912, General Motors kills the crank and introduces the electric starter on this Cadillac Turing edition. So this invention removes one of the most objectionable aspects of driving a gasoline powered car. Over the following decades, electric cars will slowly disappear from the roads as the gas becomes cheap. You can drive farther and farther and diesel power takes over. So electric cars will be hampered by their driving range, long charging times and bulky batteries at that age. In 1958, there was an interesting concept. It's called the nuclear concept car. So this car was supposed to have a reactor that can power a car for 5000 miles. After which the spent fuel rods will be sapped out at a convenient station. The car was named as Nucleon which was designed based on the assumption that someday nuclear reactors could be made safe enough for using cars. I cannot think of someone preparing a bomb using this car's nuclear reactor. This is very much ballistic. <laughs> so, in the year 1959, 
small scale electrics introduced very small electric cars but it failed to gain a lot of popularity they were based just outside lansing michigan the new kela start light it was offered by kish industries coming to 1964 now general motors starts it electric car experiments basically it converts a chevrolet corvair and fits battery removes the engine converts it to electric and calls it electrowear so later on gm also creates the electrowear and electric chevrolet corvette in the year 1967 the american motors corporation unveils amitron a prototype electric car which it had planned to sell off in a few years but this never took off now in the year 1974 some tiny startups started building tiny cars first one was this city car which was introduced in florida so around about 4400 units were sold the top speed of the city car was just 38 miles an hour this car's shape was pretty much boxy and it was like a golf cart then in the 1980s the battery developments took place the cobalt oxide cathode the heart of the lithium ion technology is invented by john goodingo and his colleagues at oxford in the decades to come these batteries will be powering all of the consumer electronics as well as electric cars that can travel hundreds of miles on a single charge so in 2019 good enough and other two researchers were given nobel prize for their work in developing and improving lithium ion batteries so in 1990s the zero emission challenge started california passes the zero emission vehicle mandate which requires automakers operating in california to sell a certain percentage of zero emission vehicles which means electric vehicles at the time so automakers had to comply and a dozen of other state later adopted the zev mandate eventually it changed how automakers looked at the perspectives of developing an alternative cars now gm's big response in the 1996 was availing the impact concept car called as EV1 which later took off and had a lot of controversies so gm puts the EV1 into production these cars were available for lease but not for sale and in 1997 more other companies like ford toyota honda and chevrolet started complying with california's requirements and releasing the electric versions of their gasoline cars so in 2003 gm takes a huge step and cancels the ev1 program takes back the car and crushes them over the protest of former owners this move has become the subject of a really popular documentary who killed the electric car which paints gm as the villain gm insists the car could not continue being driven because it was become impossible to maintain them in safe condition but i don't think that is true if if you watch the documentary carefully you will come to know what exactly happened there now in 2006 a new startup emerged that is what we known as tesla today it shows off prototypes in 2003 of the company's first car called tesla roadster it is a two seated sports car which was based on the lotus lec platform and it was hugely priced for a sports car at over $80000 it was really a luxury product it performs like a sports car it can go about more than 200 miles more than anything ever a electric car could do it used lithium ion batteries which will become standard technology for electric car now in the year 2009 mitsubishi introduced the imev which stands for mitsubishi innovation electric vehicle which will be sold under puji and citroen brands in europe This small egg shaped car is the first mass market EV from a major automaker. Next comes the introduction of Tesla sedan which is the Model S with a seating capacity of up to 7 people. It will be the fastest selling luxury sedan and the fastest selling electric car in the history so far. In the year 2010 Nissan enters the market of EVs, starts producing the Leaf, a practical compact electric car. with a relatively long driving range for its first time so far more leafs had been sold than any other electric car model next the chevy volt takes things further so this is gm's range extended electric car but most people will call it a plug in hybrid gm engineers see it as an electric car that does away with the range anxiety a term first used to describe that the gm ev1 would run out of battery power before reaching a charger <laughs> The world wins the electric race 
I would say a plug-in hybrid race wins the North American Car of the Year, European Car of the Year and Motor Trend Car of the Year awards and continues its journey. So in their 2011 new rules changed on the road. The US Environmental Protection Agency, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, and the California Air Resources Board and major automakers announced an increase in fuel economy and emission requirements. Meeting these requirements essentially requires the sale of more electric and hybrid cars this move combined with tighter emission requirements in Europe and electric car purchases gives incentives in China. This drives the manufacturer to develop more electric and other plug-in hybrid cars. So in the year 2005, the famous VW getting busted for cheating on emission tests resulting in fines, penalties and arrest of executives in both US and Europe. As a part of this, VW declares that it will invest heavily in electric vehicles. So the upcoming VW ID3 is a result of all this fuss. In the year 2016, Tesla plans and unveils its Model 3, a cheaper electric car, which will become the brand's most affordable and best-selling car so far. In fact, in 2019, it will be the best-selling luxury car of any time. Now, in the same year, 2016, GM is back. After failing for the EV1 program, GM unveils the first Chevy Bolt EV. It is built as GM's Orion assembly plant in Michigan and it is also the basis of GM's first attempt at producing fully autonomous car. 2016, VW plugs in, starts electrifying America, developing a, a network of fast chargers across US. Volkswagen along with Ford, BMW and Dalmer partners with them in a joint venture that is building a similar fast charging network across the entire Europe. In 2018, the sales are beginning to ramp up. Global electric vehicle sales continue to increase. We can see more than half of all electric cars sold worldwide are in China. So if you want to see the trace back of this entire timeline, it goes back to 1834. I could say roughly 180 years before this time and started with the development of the first electric motor, the first batteries and later on the first electric car in 1884 coming down to the first electric taxi fleets replacing horses Porsche's first electric car then you can see the rise of the electric cars of the Baker Street GM's electric experiments coming to AMC's Amitron going back to the development of lithium-ion batteries GM developing EV1 as well as other people coming in later on the EV1 is pulled back and finally Tesla brings back the bandwagon and carries the electric car forward so far we can see Tesla Nissan and others have been very successful in developing the electric car most of the automakers are trying to bring new electric cars so that's it just wanted to give a timeline of how electric cars came to being what all controversies happened and how all things changed to electric cars. So this is Recharged, signing off. Thank you so much.